Fight experts have called my first guest, pound for pound, the best boxer ever to enter the ring. The winner of two world championships. He made and he spent over four million bucks. Living high, wide, and handsome. And here to tell you something about that sweet life is that sweet guy, Sugar Ray Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. After all these years in the ring, and we almost knocked him out on the way in. <laughs> I was telling him about that $4 million, Ray, and of course that involves some pretty good living. You used to travel with as many as 15, 18 people with you wherever you went. Had a ball. 22, yeah. I think it was, when I went to Europe. <laughs> Purple Cadillacs and the whole business? Yep. When did, you, did you need that many, or were you just... Uh... Well, no, not that I needed it, all right, but I don't know. As a champion, I felt... I'd, I'd love to live like one, like I, and I had a ball, I really did, I wouldn't change a thing. You don't regret it? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did made some, make some pretty good investments that turned sour through no fault of yours. Well, they, they turned sour, I don't care whose fault it was. <laughs> <laughs> I read someplace that you had once been uh, offered a one million dollar bribe to dump a fight, the Graziano fight, and that of course didn't come from Rocky, it came from people wanted to make money on it, huh? Well, yes, that happened, and I'm sure a lot of sports figures uh, received some offers for brides and things like that, but I don't know, Art, I believe that I was blessed with a talent, that the talent that I had for fighting was not of my own, I believe it was a God-given talent, and I certainly would never think of doing anything to you know. Demean it, certainly. Yeah. And yet you lost a fight. I saw you lose a fight to Joey Bishop. <laughs> hey, listen, I certainly did. They, they, called, they called this the night of the fixed barnyard fight. And Joey called me up. Joey uses his hands pretty good, you know. Right? Yeah. And uh, he called me up. He said, Sugar, uh, I've got boxing exhibition with me for uh, the Marianne Postick Foundation. I said, all right, Joe. And uh, I've been going. I go to the gym every day anyway. And but three or four days before the exhibition, a newspaper boy came to my door and he, special delivery, brought the bullet, the paper to me. He said, Mr. Robinson, I was told to tell you to look on page B12. And I looked on page B12 and had the whole page with Joey Bishop with his muscles standing, holding up dumbbells. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at that. And when we got to the, we went to the fight, and the Joey called up the next night before after that he said sugar i don't know if we can go through with the exhibition because i don't want to defraud the public i got a cold and the doctor says i ain't feeling too well i said well joey he said well you know i don't want to defraud the public i said well don't make no different man the result gonna be the same anyway <laughs> <laughs> but how did you lose there. i went out when we went out there miss robinson and i we went out uh, they call it the fixed night of the fixed barnyard fire out at k gables farm and uh they had a hayride and the hayride led into a barn dance and all night long our waiters kept bringing me scotches and martinis and i said oh buddy i don't drink i'm sorry I said, and after they brought them back but fourth time I asked I said look oh brother you've been you brought me four drinks already I said I don't drink why did he said well Mr. Robinson I just want Mr. Bishop wants you to have them <laughs> <laughs> he did everything so when I got when we got into the ring I wasn't allowed I didn't know anything but they told me he says and who will be working in your corner as your second and manager is Martha Ray yeah. <laughs> and she threw the towel in. Threw the towel in. <laughs> and, and gave up the fight, so he lost the fight on Martha Ray. But you know, that's just kidding stuff, that fight. We want to take a moment here and show you Sugar in one of his great fights. Uh, we're going to take you to the Palais de Sport in Paris. It's November 27th, 1950, and here's round one between Gene Stock, the champion over there, and Sugar Ray. Take a look. Gee, you hit him before we even got started. I'm glad you got a fight that I won.
watch this. He saved that guy's life. I hate you. Sugar, that was great. I wonder how I got into it. <laughs> and now from that, of course, Sugar, here you are, a guest of President Nixon down at the White House at San Clemente. And here you are, a guy who's doing a great job for the kids, because I want you folks to know that Sugar Ray is out there in the playgrounds with kids, helping them be devoted to a life of physical fitness instead of drugs and trouble. Am I right? Yes, sir, I'd be very happy. We have a fine You have a foundation? Yeah, the Sugar Ray Youth Foundation. It's for girls and boys, and uh, we have about a thousand youngsters. In fact, uh, our, the finals of our summer program was last Saturday, and we have fine arts, performing arts, music, drama, dancing for girls. Our biggest factor is sports, and basically we are trying to stimulate a state Olympics if we possibly can. Good. Sugar, come back and see us and tell us some more of your good, your good life. Good life. Sugar,